Younghotelier.com is delighted to teach you the top 10 tips when relocating as a hotelier to Dubai. To teach us is our Director of Human Resources for Movenpick Hotels and Resorts here in the Middle East and Asia, Mr. Craig Cochrane. Hello, I'm Craig Cochrane and these are my top 10 tips for relocating to Dubai as a hotelier. You'll probably find that many of these actually apply to relocating anywhere, not just Dubai. Um, and they're not in any particular order. Number one, my first recommendation would be to make sure you visit first and that you understand where you're going to. Um, it's very easy to see Dubai on the television or to speak to people and hear about all the glamour, but I think it's very important that you actually come here first and see the place for yourself and decide if it's right for you. Number two, I think it's very important to understand the type of job that you can do and that you, that you want to apply for in Dubai or elsewhere. Um, often when you move abroad, the type of work that you're doing in your home country is different to the type of work that you can find or that the benefits provide for that kind of work in, in, in a foreign country. And you need to make sure that your skills are transferable and that the career path that you're currently following can be continued in the place that you're going to. So for example, if you're working as a chef in Europe, you need to make sure that the benefits of that position in the country that you're applying to, and particularly in Dubai, will provide you with benefits that can allow you to, to, uh, to make the move. Thirdly, I think that it's very important to be patient. Once you've made the decision that you'd like to work in Dubai, it's important to be patient to wait for the right opportunity. Um, there are plenty of uh, companies looking to hire people at the moment, but that doesn't mean that they're all good. Um, and you need to make sure that the opportunity that comes along is the right one for you and to consider it very carefully. Fourth, I think it's important to be prepared to take a step back in order to go forwards in your career. If you have made the decision to move to Dubai, you may need to take a step down from the position you currently occupy in your home country. Um, the hotels here are of an extremely high standard. Um, the teams that we work with are extremely large and, and it is different to working back home in many cases. So if you hold the position of rooms division manager now in your home country, you may, may need to take a step back to a front office manager position in order to get your first role in Dubai, and then you can build from there. It's often found that careers actually move quicker on an international scale than they do um, back in, in the established uh, hotel industry in Europe, so it's often not a bad thing to take a step backwards to go forwards. Five, I'd say this is probably the most important one of all of my 10 tips, um, is to be flexible and open-minded if you are going to come and work internationally. Um, the biggest key to success um, working in Dubai is being able to work with a, a multitude of different cultures and nationalities and making that, that, that team successful. Um, if you're not open-minded, if you're not flexible, if you don't want to be tolerant of other people and their cultures, then don't come. And that's the best advice I can give. If you do want to work with other people, um, and if you are open-minded and genuinely interested in, in how other people work and how, how their, their culture um, informs how they do their work, then you'll be very successful. Number six, I think it's very important to understand your benefits and the contract that you've signed before traveling. Um, it always amazes me the number of people that sign a deal because they want to come to Dubai so badly, and then they only realize what they've actually committed to once they get here. Um, if you sign a contract that says sharing accommodation, you need to understand what sharing accommodation actually means. There might be a guy sleeping right there next to you in, in, in the accommodation, and you need to be prepared for that. Um, otherwise, you'll end up in somebody like, like me in the office complaining, and uh, you had the information prior, so I think it's very important to understand what you're signing before you get on an aeroplane. Number seven, um, I think it's very important to, to be prepared for some hardship um, that can also be very rewarding. Um, with a, a rapidly expanding and booming hospitality industry like we have here in Dubai, um, comes a lot of glamour, yes, but that's more for the guests. Um, working here is no different to working in any other hotel. In fact, it's harder because the expectation of guests and owners is that much higher. Um, days are long, um, the work is very tough, you often go back home on a crowded bus back to the employee accommodation feeling extremely tired and you need to be prepared for that. Um, so whilst you will work hard, your career will move quickly, but you need to be prepared to put that hard work in. Number eight, if you're traveling to Dubai in a managerial position or in any position for that matter, it's very important that you can be a good coach. Um, the reason that people are employed from, from Europe on, on, on the most part is to impart their skills and, and abilities and, and knowledge onto other people that they will be working with. So you need to be very good at training people. Um, you need to be patient enough to coach people. Um, and that's what will make you successful. 
the size of the teams here in Dubai that work in the hotels is generally much larger than what you would find in Europe. So a large part of the success of a manager is how well he can, can train and pass his experience onto the team that they're working with. Top tip number nine is to be able to speak English, at least to a conversational level. Um, the common language in Dubai is, is English, uh, and all reports are written in English. Uh, most of the guests speak English. Um, so it's very important that you can communicate with your colleagues when you come here. The national language is Ar Arabic, but the common working language is English, so that's very important. And finally, tip number 10 is to have a career in mind before you take the step to come to Dubai. Um, Dubai is not the place to come if you're just looking for a job. Um, it's very much a, a lifestyle decision to, be, to jump on an aeroplane and come and work abroad, and that needs to fit somewhere in your career progression as you see it. So make sure you understand how making that move will help you in the future and where you want to be eventually. Younghotelier.com would just like to take this opportunity to thank Craig for his top 10 tips on relocating here to Dubai. While simple, spoken English and understanding actually what your benefits are um, and taking a step back always to move forward can be the best step actually. They are vital to relocating here to Dubai. One final note, I believe Craig has always wanted to say something on this video camera. I just wanted to say for the record that the camera does actually add £10 and they've got four of them in here. So. Younghotelier.com wishes Moven Peak Hotels and Resorts every success with their 26 new hotels in the pipeline as they move forward into 2009.